Projects here, Hakaru Davis speaking as your host right now. And if you can notice, we are in a different area. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. We were magically teleported here. And we have a special guest here with us right now. Hello, thanks for having me. Thank you. Um, my name is Jan Michael Alejandro from Los Angeles. Okay, now we will start with the question. How and when did you meet my dad and what was the first impression? I met your dad in Texas, in Dallas, Texas, around 1978 on the Heroes Tour also called Isolar 2 and um, we were starting rehearsals for the American leg of the tour and that was the first time I met any of the band and the first time I met David. Um, I did not know a lot of David's songs at all. I maybe knew maybe two of David's songs. I, was, I didn't follow them that much. And I didn't know really anything about the band. What is your favorite song of my dad's drumming and why? All right, so that is Blackout. And I'll tell you why. Because, can I play it? Sure. Then you could kind of hear it. So, so the rhythm is pretty, pretty good speed, right? So it's a real steady beat right there, and then, and then when David comes in, um, the band a lot of times. Um, okay, I'll show you the part. The part I really like. Right here. I love that part. That's like the greatest. <laughs> anyway, that's why I like that. I mean, as far as my favorite song with your dad, that's it. Because it's, it's like the closest thing to a drum solo. But, you know, because he's being featured in it while David is still singing. And, and and it's just a, it's just it just rocks. <laughs> what was the best memory of my dad and being on the road with David Bowie? Um, the best memory was actually meeting him, because you never know when you meet someone, especially if you know they've been together for a long time, and um, sometimes musicians. <laughs> When they have, uh, when they're used to working with other people, setting up their drums, um, they have a particular way they want to do it, and maybe they really like the person they used to use. So you never know when you're going into this situation if they're gonna, you know, be cordial to you. And um, he was always, he was always uh, great. Um, I have some pictures here I wanted to show you, which you already have, but I want to show you something here. So, see right here, these drums, these drums that go like, they, they're like this and they, they, they kind of, like a, a horn, they call those North drums. You see, and this is a drummer named Russ Kunkel, right? And I, I was on the tour just before I went on the road with uh, David Bowie. I was with uh, James Taylor and Jackson Brown, right? I just finished all those tours. And um, your dad wanted to borrow. He, he was asking me 
if he says, I wish I had some North drums. So I asked Russ if, if uh, Dennis could, could borrow them. So, and there it is right there, you see. If Dennis was still here, what would you tell him? I would, I would thank him for being such a pleasure to work for and work with, you know. He never treated, he treated me like an equal. And that's special, you know. I mean, there's some drummers that were like, oh gosh, they were so demanding. And, and uh, I remember this one drummer, he was so mean to me. And, and um, we used to be in an environment where the audience would throw stuff because that's just part of the way that, the style of that band. And he'd like, he was so mean to me, it was like, he would say, hey, why don't you block some of that stuff that's coming up here? And I'm like, you're on your own. <laughs> I'd do it for Dennis because Dennis was nice to me. But this guy wasn't so nice to me. So, you know, uh, yeah, you can block your own. You block it yourself. <laughs> Give me some stories about the tours you did with my dad. Yep, I sure can. Um, so when we would go to Japan, and w and we would leave from Los Angeles, LAX, uh, David would rent like the whole top first class section of the 747. Okay. And um, in those days, since we had the whole first class section. That's kind of where the door was to get into the cockpit where the pilots were. And they invited us to go inside and talk to them. And while they're flying over the Pacific Ocean, um, we could talk and just see like you're sitting in the back of somebody's car. And that was incredible. Um, and there were, weren't very many of us. There was the band. There was a few of the crew. And there was uh, David's entourage, the, you know, Tony Masia, and um, <laughs> his assistant, who I can't, I can't think of, uh, what? Is that Coco? Coco! <laughs> Sorry, Coco. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Stewie, um, and and Pat Gibbons and Eric Barrett. Oh shoot, and Eric Barrett. Yeah, he was so, Pat was the uh, sort of uh, uh, the manager and he's the one that paid us all. <laughs> and uh, so that was, that was good times. The other good times were like, we would be in a room like this and uh, there'd be a few of us in and we'd just, you know, whatever, <laughs> horsing around, and David would come in with like the National Lampoon la latest record or, or tape, and we'd just sit listening to the comedy album that he would bring in. That's the kind of stuff that, you know, Dave, we would do with David, or in England, we would um, take a bus and, and go around to the pubs in the, in, out in the country, and it, there would only be like five or six or eight of us that we just go on a, on a bus and when the pub owners and it'd be like going back in time because it's like old you know an old country side in England and the old pubs and when they found out it was David oh they were so excited uh, that we were there you know just kind of at their pub um, oh and then the other then the other funny stories uh, what happened here and in Australia and um, we would finish playing in a big arena and then we would all go back to the hotel but then we'd all sit at the bar even David and everybody we did a lot of stuff together and um, you know like sometimes your dad would ask you know you would, would suggest that you know they play um, at this bar, and so I would ask the band that were the band that was playing at the bar if, if uh, you know, they could use their instruments, 
And so um, sometimes, uh, you know, I'd have to say it was David, and they didn't believe me that David wanted to jam at this bar, you know, like a holly, you know, like a Holiday Inn bar or a Sheraton bar. And, and they'd just start playing all their songs, and David would be up there singing, and, and people at the bar, they didn't even know it was David. You know, it's like they didn't know it was David Bowie playing. Uh, but a couple of them, when they did, oh, people just rushed in, and it got really crazy, and Tony would have to lift, Tony and Stewie would have to lift David out and, and run and run out, and then, <laughs> you know, just, it was fun, funny, fun stuff. So those are all good good memories that I have, and I'm glad I'm with my old mind. I'm glad I can still remember a lot of those. Bye, everybody. It's been a fun day. Subscribe. Leave a like if you like the, the video. Bye. I know you can't